glance this way, if you would. Oh, we have a motion. Yeah, the motion though. Second. But if you would, uh, if you would be able to look this way, appreciate that. Talk through some of these things. Each year you hear a similar speech, but just to review some of this, you know, school districts have four um, taxing funds: the general fund, which you can see there, and then we'll, we'll continue to talk about that and what goes into the general fund. But here are some some pieces of the general fund. The majority of that, of course, uh, as you look at, is salary. That's staff. The majority of our budget here at the school is staff. And with that, health insurance, uh, retirement, things like that. That makes up almost, you know, you could say you know, three quarters, let's say, of, of, the, of the general fund budget. But of course, other things go along with that. supplies. And supplies, that's very broad as I look across at all the things that go into supplies. As you can imagine, that could be just about anything. Um, you know, there's just so much. You know. But included in that, you could even you could maybe even call computers. I put computers down there, but that's more technology because we have iPads now. But textbooks and things like that. Um, supplies. Much of the ordering is is done in the summer uh, for the upcoming uh, year. So we are busy in the summer placing orders, um, getting. Receiving orders and checking them off, and those sorts of things. So that uh, makes up the general fund. Once again, the majority of that is salary, health insurance, retirement, those sorts of things for the district. The next one down there, bond fund. We currently do not have a bond as I slide down in this document. Now, this is the document also that I have to send to the state. It's due on the 20th. We obviously don't have a bond this time. Uh, bonds paid off, it has been for some time. Next one down, the special building fund. I put this up here just for your information. Uh, the tax levy uh, for the bond, or for, excuse me, for the special building fund cannot go higher than 14 cents. It can go higher with, uh, with a vote of the people. So the board can take our, your special building fund levy. It could be zero, one cent, two cent, all the way up to 14. And you'll see tonight where we're setting that at. I think most of you know the reason as to why we're setting it, where we're setting it. But uh, it's just uh, some information that if we ever thought the need to raise more money for special building projects, you can go higher than 14, but there still is a limit and it does require a vote. Qualified capital purpose undertaking, that is mostly referred to when uh, you're talking to people as QCPUF. We have not used that as far as I know here. Um, Ever? Is that true, Dana? Yeah. QC Puff, they used to do things like um, air quality uh, and doing some of those sorts of things. It's limited, but they've even changed that and tightened that. You can see uh, that before April 19th of 2016, you could, without a vote of the people, you could put as much as 5.2 cents into this QC Puff fund. Now it's down to three. I don't know as to why. It's just something that the legislature decided that they were going to do. Um, so you can't put as much into that. We do not have this fund. We do not, I should, I should say, we don't utilize this fund this time. Down at the bottom, that's the total for all funds. Uh, we're just using the general, of course, and the special building fund. And in this budget, you'll see that this is the same tax asking as it was last year. There is not an increase in the tax asking to the patrons. Down here, this this is what we wait on. I think uh, I sent you messages and, and a video explaining um, 
we're waiting on the, uh, uh, the, the valuation. This obviously determines how much money we can generate with each penny. Um, my estimate, I think, was a little bit low, which is always a good thing. I think you remember when I sent you that I was doing some figuring and trying to figure out what, you know, what I might guess that it might be. It was a little bit low, which is always a great surprise when your estimate is low and your, your land valuation is higher than you expected. Um, and then once I get that, and we have to have that by August 20th by the counties, they have to send us that, and then I can very much finalize a budget at that point in time because you know how much money uh, you know, you'll, be, you'll be getting. So that, that's always a key moment and a key day. The, I get one of these from Cedar and one of these from Knox County. This is the actual form. I cut off a little bit at the bottom, but it, I, what we're focused on here is the amount. And in Cedar County this year, um, it was up just over a million dollars. Last year, you can see, I know that's, that's difficult to see there, uh, 236 million this year, 237, rounding. Um, up is good. Many districts um, are seeing a, a slight decrease overall. So the fact that we're up is good, but I obviously pay attention to that knowing many districts have lost a little, maybe a little last year, maybe again a little this next year, and you know, in the, pre the years previous. So really paying attention to that. Here's the Knox County, 341 million this year, and that is also up, but that's up a little bit more. It's about six million. Six, you can see up there, six million three hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars up from last year. These are, these are good things. State aid. State aid is always something that we talk about. You know, of the several years at least that I've been here, that I've been always talking about the state aid. We do get state aid, but when people generally say state aid. We're talking about the equalization aid, which is which is what we don't get. We don't get any for that. Some districts get much, uh, you know, a lot of that piece of the pie. South Sioux City, Metro, Metro schools get a lot of equalization aid. Most of our quote state aid comes out of option enrollment, okay, um, and, or the net option funding is the actual name for that term. We always refer to it as option enrollment. You can see last year. We did receive uh, 249, or excuse me, 294, and this year 296. So a little bit more in that option funding this year, but the total is almost unchanged in, in state aid. In the state, it's always encouraging to, to see a little bit more, or see at least equal um, what we're getting for students coming in. We love the fact that the students want to come here, and uh, as you've always heard me say, we pay attention to um, you know where those kids are. Watch us see how many seniors we have and how many kindergartners are coming in and doing all sorts of things and charting those. Just because it's worth paying attention to because that's significant money to the district. So, any questions on that state aid? Okay. This next one here, this is, all I'm showing you on this is this is part of my form again. It's where it's showing that we have to input that state aid. So that's all I'm clearly showing you as far as this, this slide goes. On the next one. When I send in the budget to the state, there are three different pages that I'm going to be talking about now. One is the actual estimated. Notice the years on this, and this is the 2017-18. So when I fill this out, the year hasn't um, had ended at this point in time. Um, so that's why they say estimate. You know, you actually uh, they turn actual after the auditor comes. But so these are estimated. So I look at each of the general depreciation fund, employee benefit, on down the line, and uh, it's your best estimate as to how much you're going to spend. Because before you start the next year, you have to have an idea of how much you have left from the previous year. So you have to go through this process of determining where you're at at the time you're filling out these forms. Okay. And then the next. Um, piece that you sent in. These are actually, they're called actual because these are reviewed by the auditor. Once the auditor has reviewed, um, and notice the year two, that's 16, 17, so you're always a year, you know, or two years behind. The auditor comes in and they do their thing and they double check these numbers and then they become actual numbers so you know that this is actually what was spent, you know, for the books and things like that. So you have actual two years ago, this year, then we're on the estimated, and then of course, then the one that we're here for, 
we're studying right now, 1819. Part of this too is the super transparency pay. Um, as you know, in the past history in the state, there's been some gold parachutes. So which came about this law to say we're not going to have gold parachutes in there. You know, for superintendents, some things that may not have been hidden, but maybe people weren't aware about, those sorts of things. So now it's very transparent it's on the website. It's part of this document. It's, it's, it's a checks and balances, which is, which is safe for people. Um, then we do have to send in um, this. This is another piece of the form where you have each of the years, 16 and 17, 17, 18, Like I said, as far as this year goes, I'm asking the same, the board, um, asking the same uh, as far as tax asking this year, uh, which, is, which is always nice to say that we haven't had to uh, increase that. That's the end um, that, I, oh, I, that I have for this, but if, are there any questions at this time? We have from 7 to 7.20, the 7.20 is the scheduled next meeting, so I can go back to any of these forms or any of these pieces if you'd like to look at them again or perhaps ask a question. If not, that's perfectly fine as well. All we're doing now is just testimony for me. Um, if you could ask a question, otherwise the next meeting is then just information on the tax um, asking, and then of course the board meeting comes up, that's when you approve. But this budget uh, does reflect um, initiatives and things that we uh, have been talking about. Um, we have to have the money in place um, if, if you're going to uh, do some of the things that we talked about. Just because we budget that money into the special building fund doesn't necessarily mean that you have to spend it, right? But it has to be there and it has to be in place if we choose to move forward with these projects that we want to do, okay? Also in this budget reflects that transfer of uh, money from the bond fund, the leftover money from the bond, okay? Because we transferred that money from the bond fund into the general fund, that allowed us to lower this general fund levy because we have extra money in from the bond, right? So, and because we're able to do that, we're able to put more pennies into the special building fund. And you'll see when that comes around to the tax asking that that's about 13, you know, 1395, because we can't go above 14, as I said. As I said. The difference between uh, the state aid between the 329 and the 294 is that oh. reimbursement for uh, special education or what? Yeah, I'm not allowed. That's only thirty thousand dollars, but there's a difference between <coughs> the two. So what makes that difference? Or is there a lot of things that make that difference, or one thing? Or basically, um, were you talking about state state aid or the net option funding? Or net what? option versus the the total, the top one. Oh, the total. Yeah, they have their calculations and some various things. Um, there used to be. You know, they keep taking away from this. But I have I have a sheet that had to explain it. But yeah, this is the total state aid. This amount here, this amount here, excuse me, includes this. So it's not it's very little above that. Yeah. yeah. And that's just a formula calculation for the top. And yes. The bottom is the yes, this this is the most important one, the total. I throw this in here um, as a piece of this because just because that's important to us. We know that people yeah, without that $30,000 Yes, so yes. So that's what I was gonna ask. Right, or if we have more going out than coming in. Right, exactly. You know, if we have one going out and 36 coming in, that's good, you know, rather than the other way. Yeah, great question. And I have those, so I don't have those for me, but all, all the, the calculations that go into that. And the 14 cents in the like, special building, that equates to what in dollars? Is it the Eight hundred thousand, or is it the difference between the eight hundred thousand and the five hundred four? I know I asked you this once, so I apologize. Yes, no, that's not a problem. I'm just going to get back to that slide here. Okay. Um, the eight hundred thousand—that is what will generate this year. That's okay. the fourteen cents. Okay. That's what I thought. I should right. And you'll see, and you'll see when we get around to that to the special building fund. Um, It'll, we'll, have, we'll have a couple hundred thousand dollars left over from this year. So it'll be a total of about a million. But this is what $14,000 will generate, or two, 14 cents, almost 14 cents. So if you did that over five years, you could build up $4 million. Yes. I mean, yes. However, but you're exactly right. 
the reason why we have less here in tax asking is because we have that five hundred thousand dollars that over that has been That makes sense. So um, next year, if somebody if somebody looks at this and next year and says, "Wow, the general fund last year, um, there was when we get to the tax, we'll re we'll re address this it was 61 cents or whatever whatever it is, and why is it so high again this next year? Well, we'll have to we can explain it that well we had extra money in there from the bond fund because um, some people might look at that and ask that question. It's a valid question, but as long as we can tell them, well, this is why we did that. We had some bond money left over. We use this for a project. And then see what will be difficult if we wanted to continue to raise money, if we go back to what I'll call the norm here next year, yeah, is, is to continue to put eight, money. Eight cents or whatever it might be next yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Typically here that I could tell in the past, you put very little into special building fund. We do not have to do what other districts do. Many districts have, you know, I'll say millions of dollars in the special building fund, but they've saved over time. That's been part of their norm. Here, I think you've been fortunate enough to have some of that bond money that has been left over for the roof, and now we're, we're proposing that maybe we uh, attack a uh, project like air conditioning, and now that's gone. So we'll have to start saving more. You know. And we're really fortunate through refinancing that bond loan, so we kind of saved that much money on the cost of the building. So that was huge. And the reason why we're putting it into the general fund because that's what we'll say we have to do. So we have has to go into the general fund. But then because of that, as I said, as I just told you earlier, we can put more money into special building. There isn't a motion of, uh, for this at this point. It's just a testimony. Any questions? In this meeting, and then uh, I'll get out of this here.